hi everyone on our this side and today's session is based on the microsoft introduction to the microsoft power apps so i'm just sharing my screen Is my skin visible? Yes, yes it is. That's right. Yeah. So our today knowledge session topic is introduction to Microsoft Power App. So firstly, knowledge certificates. Firstly, is this punctuality. Join the session five minutes prior to the session start time. We start on time and conclude on time. Second is feedback. Make sure to submit a constructive feedback for all the session as it is very helpful for the presenter. Third one is silent mode. Keep your mobile devices silent mode. Feel free to move out of the session in case you need to attend an urgent call. And avoid disturbance. Avoid an unwanted chit chat during the session. So let's start it. So ad agenda of this knowledge session is to understand the Microsoft Power Apps. So there are the key topics regarding the Power Apps. Introduction to Microsoft Power Apps. Key features and components of Microsoft Power Apps, different types of Power Apps, understanding Power Apps architecture, step-by-step -step guide to show how to build an app and how to use the function of Power App. Six one is coding and customization technique using Microsoft Power Apps. Seven one is integration with Microsoft services in Power Apps. And last one is use cases with real, real world examples about Power Apps. So what is Microsoft Power Apps? Introduction to Power Apps. Microsoft Power Apps is a cloud-based service that provides a suite of apps and services, connectors, and a data platform to allow users to custom applications that can solve specific business -like challenges. Basically, when we use the Power Apps, so we do not need a particular the large knowledge of about the coding or the large language about, like C Sharp, Python or anything. We just using it. There are simple techniques about drag and drop the key elements of to generate or to make up website. So PowerPoint Power App make it easier and easy to use for the no coding, no maximum knowledge of about the coding language. So Microsoft Power App is a Microsoft Power Platform, which is also include micro Microsoft Power BI, which is used for data analytics, Microsoft Power Automate, which is used for workflow automation, and Microsoft Power Virtual Agents, which is used for to create a chatbots. Power App allows users to create applications using a low-code approach, meaning you don't need to uh, need to be a developer to create a fully functional application. It is suitable for building forms, capturing data, integrating with other Microsoft services, and more. This platform empowers business to quickly develop applications that would otherwise require a dedicated software develop, development team. And it is not taking as much as time and we can easily build with the less, less programming language knowledge and in a quick time. So can I move ahead? Yes, please. So the key benefits of Power App. So key be first key benefits of Power App is no coding required. Basically, Power App uses a drag and drop interface, allowing user to build app without needing to write code. Basically, we just write a single line of logic in Power Apps to make it functional, functional or make it happen like a proper website works. This makes it accessible to non-developers and enabling them to create apps quickly. Example, users can create button, create forms, buttons, and galleries using simple mouse actions. And we just need to drag and drop from one place to another. Second one, second key benefit of Power App is integration capabilities. Power App integrated with over 300 data sources, including SharePoint, Action, SQL Server, Dynamic 365, Salesforce, and even custom APIs. Example, so you can build an app that pull customer data from the Dynamics 365 or the Excel sheet, and you can easily display it on the Power App if it's easy to use interface. The last benefit of key benefits of Power App is Power App can handle everything from simple data entry form to complex. 
enterprise level application. It supports scaling from small projects to large organization wide development deployments. Example, you can start with a simple task tracking app and evolve it to a comprehensive project management tool. Does anyone have a question regarding this or I move it? No questions. Then the key features and component of the Power App. The first one is low code development. Similarly, Power App provides a drag and drop environment where we can add the buttons, we can add the input labels, we can add the data sources, and as well as other things as well. To so basically to create a easy user friendly app within using the Power App. Then the similarly the data integration. We can create the multiple data sources with the Power App, Excel, SharePoint, and SQL Server as well. And the third phase that features is that the AI Builder. AI Builder enables users to integrate AI capabilities into their apps, such as tax recognition, object detection, and form processing. You don't need to be an AI expert to use these features. AI Builder offers pre built models that can be trained with your data, as well as the Microsoft introduced the Copilot, so Power App integrate with Copilot as well to make it easy and easier to understand and to how to use the use the things in the Power App and how to make it functional and more easy is user friendly for the particular users. The fourth one is responsive design. Apps created with Power App Power Apps are responsive, meaning they adapt to different screen sizes, mobile, tablet, desktop, as well, etc. These ensure that the users have a consistent experience regardless of the device they are using. The last one is security and compliances. Power App is built with enterprise grade security, supporting Azure Active Directory for authentication and role-based access control. It complies with various security standards making it suitable for businesses with strict data protection requirements. Yes. Yeah. So now is types of power apps. So the first type of power app is a canvas app. Canvas app provides a blank canvas where user have complete control over the layout and design, allow, allowing them to build app by placing control wherever they want. You can connect Canvas app to multiple data sources such as SharePoint, Excel, SQL Server, Dynamics 365. You are not limited to a single data source. Make it easy to aggregate data from different platforms. And there are 300 of data sources where you can, you can connect, the, connect your data and get, fetching the data and using it in the Microsoft Power App. Canvas apps are ideal when you want to build custom apps with unique layout, such as an employee onboarding app, a travel expense tracker or an an inventory management system. The second one is a model driven app. Model driven app focuses on the data model and logic. They generate standardized user interface based on the data structure defined by the developer. Basically, the difference between the canvas and the model driven app, the in the Canvas app, we are not using the using to write the logic or the logic or write the proper code syntax in the Canvas app. But in the model driven app, we can use the data sources and use the proper logic behind the app to make it fun more functional and more reliable as per the user requirements. Model driven app are use standardized components like forms, views, charts, and dashboards making them suitable for application that needs to handle complex relationship or require robust capabilities. These apps relies primarily on Microsoft Dataverse as the data source, which is a cloud-based data source storage service that allows use to define entities, tables with fields and relationship. Model-driven apps are perfect for scenarios, scenarios where data integrity, consistency, and process-driven workflows are crucial such as customer relationship management, incident management, or project tracking. The last one is the last one is portal apps. 
portal apps allow external users example customer partners to access data stored in microsoft database through a website interface user can customize these portals using themes templates and web pages to ensure that the interface align with your organization branding additionally user can authenticate it using a variety of identity provide such as azure active directory microsoft account or even external providers like google or facebook portal apps are ideal for customer service portals partner collaboration sites employee self service portals or community forums does anyone have any question regarding these types of power apps or i should continue Do we have any questions, guys? I think we can continue, Anra. Okay, sure. Yeah. So the Power App architecture. So firstly, we are we will focus on the front end, the UI part of the or of of our application. The front end or the user interface is where user interacts with the application. Power App offers an intuitive interface where developers and user can add various controls. text input fields drop down buttons images to build the app the front end is responsible for capturing user input displaying data and ensuring a seamless experience across different devices canvas app canvas apps offers complete control over the ui allowing allowing you to customize every aspect of the app appearance in contrast model driven apps have a more standardized ui based on the data model you create the second one we are focus on the back end data storage the back end is where data is stored managed and retrieved power app uses microsoft dataverse as a primary data storage platform but it can also connect to other data sources such as sql server sharepoint or external apis dataverse allows you to define tables fields relationship and business logic providing a structured way to manage data Dataverse is a scalable and secure data platform that allow you to define data types, relationship between tables and business tools. It supports role-based access control ensuring that only authorized users can access or modify data. The third one is connectors. Connectors are the component that allow power apps to interact with various data sources and services and APIs. they act as bridges enabling seamless integration between your app and the data stored in different platforms power app offers over 300 connectors categorized into standard and the premium options type of connectors standard connectors include popular services like sharepoint excel and onedrive premium connectors are like include enterprise grade services like salesforce sql server and azure services we can create custom connectors if you need to connect to api or service not covered by the standard or premium connectors so now i have to demo the how the power app is working and how we can use the multiple functionality of the power app then i will continue for the further power, further presentation so basically yeah so my screen is visible yeah right yes on rocket is yeah so we can access the power app through the directly from the microsoft 365 platform where we can use the almost everything and most all of the apps we are which as you we are using in a, in a corporate world so yeah we can access the power app through this so when we just generally log in into the power app we are using to create then we can select there are the different source of the power, source of the to create a power app basically this is the basic 
how to create a power app with the blank canvas app. This is the model driven app, how to create with a model driven app. And we can also create a power app through the SharePoint list. There's an, uh, there is an uh, example of through the Excel sheet, there is an X, SQL and then there's the image based. And there are other, say, other features as well through the chatbot or the AI. So this is the UI. So we are just creating a blank canvas app and then the other one. So there are also the, the three types which we are discussing before. First the canvas app, then they are the model driven and then the portal app, which is basically the pages, pages website, power pages website. So this is the first create. So first we put the name like employee. It is the name of our app. Then we can use the which format we are we are choosing. So there are two options. First is tablet and the other one is phone. So as per your requirement, you can choose simultaneously which win, which is suited for you. So we just I just choosing the tablet, and here is the output. So it will take some time, whether it's four to five seconds only. So this one. So yeah, this is the basic features. So it is the screens which we are using. The particular screen there is only one screen open at the right now, right now at the right time. So it there is only one screen is shown as per our app. And this one is for the lab, This one is for the function which we are using to create an UI of our application. So if we, I want to choose the text label. So it will be easy to use here. And I just write the name like uh, employee ID. So it is just the label. And similarly, when I use the input part to take this input, so here we can drop the input. Similarly, there are some the added form it will create a added form for our environment or the our website which we want to create and there is another vertical gallery option so you can use the we can use the excel sheet as as said before that the we can use the connectors different different connectors to add the data into this gallery to showcase the ui based on this particular data forms here are the add data so add data option where we can use the different different connectors to fetch the data and showcasing in the UI using the Power Apps. There is the Office 365 users, OneDrive for business uses for the accessing the, your Excel sheets. Then there is a SharePoint option to access your SharePoint list is, and there is the SQL Server option to create the data from the database. And there are others overall 300 approx connectors as well. And we can also change the layout of the uh, of our text label or the text input through these properties to to adjust their size and their particular layouts. And then there are multiple data so databases sources to add into our application within Power Apps. There are the option to add the Im uploading images, videos, and audio files in our app. Then there is to write the functions. So we just create a variable through this and in this line header, we can write the less logic according to the perform we are doing on the buttons or the input labels so that when the user create on the button like the normal website or the normal application, we can do it. So here I here we write the logic regarding to this so that user can the functionality of our application or website will be performing. And you can use also the copilot co-pilot here to enhance our productivity of our application or enhance our programming skill regarding this power app or consuming this power app application and then uh, there is an option to preview the power app when we play the app so it will be performing according to that and there is an option to publish publish the power app regarding this so when when i making this app there is an option to uh, publish our app onto the platform so there is a 
we have the multiple versions and we are properly selected the proper version which we are using accordingly so that the more stable version we are performing and using it through the power app so this is the normal evidence does an have does an have any question regarding this hello hello yes i'm ravi can hear you yes does anyone have any question regarding this too? okay should i continue So here we are. So the the further the after the demo the, of the Power App, we are going through the coding and customization techniques in the uh, Microsoft Power Apps using PowerFX. PowerFX is a low code language used to build logic and perform calculation in Power Apps. It allows users to create formulas to define how control inter interact manipulate data and perform action example if you want a label text to display a welcome message based on the time so we use this formula and the second one is integrating with javascript all through power app primarily focus on low code development you can extend its capabilities using javascript when working with power app portal this is useful for adding custom functionality such as form validation or advanced data manipulation. For example, if you need to validate an email address format in a portal app, so we can write the write the logic to validate the email address through that label. And you can we can use the JavaScript for that before submission. So that it will provide me the error if I write the wrong input into the label. So it will give me the error accordingly. So, and the next one is the integrating integration with Microsoft services. Uh, integration with Microsoft Teams. We can embed Power Apps directly into Microsoft Teams, allowing users to access apps within their collaboration environment. This makes it easier to share and use apps without leaving Teams. Example, a help desk app can be embedded in Teams to enable employee to submit and track IT support tickets directly from their team workspace. And the other one is integration with Power Automate. Power Automate enables you to create automated workflows that trigger action in Power Apps or other connected services. These integrations allow you to streamline repetitive tasks such as sending emails, notification, or updating records. Example, when a new entry is added, in your Power App, you can use Power Automate to send an email notification to the relevant team member. Last one is use cases in real world examples. Employee onboarding app. An employee onboarding app can streamline the onboarding process for new hires by providing access to essential documents, training schedules, and contact information. It can integrate with SharePoint to store and manage onboarding materials. This app includes a checklist for new hires, which tracks the completion of e each onboarding step. The other example of is sales order processing app. This app allows sales teams to create views and manage sales orders in real time. It can connect to SQL's database to store order details and use Power Automate to notify team members on new orders. Sales representative can enter order details on their mobile devices and the data syncs in the central databases and the other thing after that is oh, uh, we can also we can also create the uh, a canvas app or the model driven app through directly from the SharePoint. 
for that we just creating a creating a list in the sharepoint like i already created one which is an employee directory so there is also the functionality to create the directory with the power app so there is an integration option so that we can create an app and see all the apps related to that particular on the home page of uh, this ui so that we can create an app and make it more customizable or customizable forms or the canvas app or the moderate app through the through the sharepoint as well according to this data or the data we are required as per the as per our actual sheet as per our sql server or the other remaining connectors which we are using in the power app process so yeah this is all yeah so this is all from my end thank you guys does anyone have any question regarding this guys do we have any questions anyone any questions All right, then Anurag, I think we are good to close the session since nobody is asking any questions. Yes, sure. Right. So thank, thank, thank you very much, Anurag, for the wonderful session. Thanks everyone for joining in.